So one of the other things we can do with clients is send messages to specific connections. So let's do that by creating a new method called send message to user. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a connection ID, which is really just an identifier of the particular connection. And we're going to send the message per usual, per usual. So we're going to do clients dot client, which is a method, and we can pass to it the connection ID. So like I said, this is just an identifier of the connection. And we're going to do our usual send async and send receive message as the thing we're going to invoke and pass the message along. So we showed earlier, and we never really did anything with it for the events of on connected and on disconnected. And this is where we're going to use these is what we're going to do is we're going to tell all our clients that there's a connection been made. And we're so let's create a new method here called user connected. And we're going to pass it down the context.connection ID. So this is the connection ID of the current connection I just made to our hub. And then subsequently for our disconnected, we're going to do the exact same thing. Just we're going to call a new JavaScript method called user disconnected. And we'll pass along that connection ID. So what we're going to do there is we're going to implement these JavaScript methods that will add to our dropdown box of just that connection ID. So we can implement our connection.on of user connected. And here we passed our connection ID. So we're going to take that as the argument. And like I said, what we're going to do here is we're going to get out the dropdown list element. So this is our group element. And we called that group. And what we're going to do is create a new option. So we'll create a new element called option. We will set the text and the value to the connection ID. So set the text, set the value. And then we'll add that option to our group element. Oops. There we go, add option. All right, so now when a user connects, we will automatically add a new option to our select list. And now when a user disconnects, we want to remove that option element. So we'll do a user disconnected and same idea here. We have a connection ID that we're passing to it. So we will get our group element. I'll just copy this line. All right, so now there's no easy way to do this manually if you're not using some library. So I'll just have to iterate over the uh, group element options here. So we'll do group element dot length, and then we'll check to see if the option value is of the connection ID. So options of I value. And if it is, then we will just remove that from our group element. All right, so we have to do uh, implement one more thing, which is going to be now in our send, this is going to be changing a little bit because now we have more than just two static options. We have a dynamic list of options. So let's get rid of that and let's do this a little bit differently. So if the group value is going to be all or myself, then that will be one condition we'll deal with. We'll deal with this one first. So we'll specify our method is going to be um, all or actually, oops, let's do equals. If the group value is equals to all, then we'll make the value send to send message to all. Otherwise, we'll do send message to caller. All right, so that defines our method. Then we can move over our connection invoke uh, since that stays the same. And now in the else, if it's not of those two values, which means it's an, a call to an individual connection, we can now invoke our new method, which is send message to user. And we have to pass two parameters. One's going to be the connection ID, which was our group value, and then subsequently our actual message. Uh, let me do some cleanup. Actually, you know what? This should be event. So let's fix that. All right, perfect. So let's give this a run and we can show now again, same idea as in two browser windows. 
we should be able to send a message from one window to the other window. All right, so once this starts up, fire up Chrome. All right, so let's kill this one old tab. And let's see, so we actually have our new element there, that's our connection. I'm gonna add another tab. And what we should notice here is that I should actually have another one underneath everyone. So let's write test, we get it to both connections. But now we have this EBGH, that's our second tab. So if I send a message specifically just to it alone, I'll only see it on the right tab. There we go.